Hey everybody, welcome. Pat Donahue here at Willie's American Guitars in St. Paul. I got this beautiful Gibson, oh I've forgotten what kind of it is. What would you say it was again, Molly? L5 Premier. L5 Premier. Oh, it says... We got the cue cards lined up. <laughs> well, I can't read, so that's my problem. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm going to take this off, and I thought I'd maybe talk about some uh, Western Swing chord things. You know, nothing too involved right now, but there's a couple of things that I can show you without too much trouble. I thought I'd use the song Miss Molly in, in, uh, in uh, re recognition of, of Miss Molly, who's here helping me, and also because it's a great Bob Wills song, and I want to show you a few chords that go with that. It's a handful right there, but it, it sounds like, oh, have you seen this molly? Okay, I want to just show you this because it's a very useful progression. The first part is easy enough. I'm playing an F G, F shaped G here. I put my thumb around, you don't have to. You could just play it like that, or you can play it G6, G major seventh, whatever. I'm just gonna play this because I think the Western swing guys like that. It goes from G to D7. That's how I play the D7 right there. It's just like a C7, only up two frets, C sharp D. So the chords of the song go, Have you seen Miss Molly? Um, ba, 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 da. So, so far, that's all we got. But here's the real meat of the progression, and this, you can use this in 100 songs. Let me show you. It's G, starts with the same G chord. The second chord I'm playing here is this. I'm on the middle four strings here. This is a G9 chord without a root in it. Don't go looking for a G note in it. Uh, however, it is a G9, and this is the bass note, the third of the chord, which is on the fifth string, the second fret. And the chord is played fifth string second, third string third, second string second, third string second, second string third. So two, three, two, three. It looks just like that diminished chord you might have learned at some point on the outer four strings. When you play on the, on the inner four strings, it's not a diminished anymore, it's, it's a different thing. So that's what this is, but the, the visual shape is the same on the interior. So that's G9. Going to a C, which you already know, to this chord, which is a C sharp diminished on the interior strings. Heads up now, this is not an easy chord to remember, but it's not too hard to play. So um, I'll show you. This chord right here. Fifth string, fourth fret, middle finger. Fourth string, fifth fret, ring finger. Third string, third fret, index. And second string, fifth fret, pinky. Like all diminished chords, this can move three frets. Sorry. And we don't have to change the shape, it just inverts. So, any of those would be okay for this chord, but this makes a really nice bass line that's going to go like this. And that's really what's going on there. To facilitate the chords are G, G9, C, C sharp diminish, which we just did. And the last chord is, it's not the last chord, but the last chord in that bass line is G, but it's a, it's a G with a D note in the bass. There's a reason for that. And I'm playing it like an F chord, like a big F, big boy F chord with these two fingers here. And the reason is so that the ends up on that note there. Even though the chord is a G, the bass note is a D. It's the fifth of the chord. So after that, it goes to D7 and G again, which is no problem. But I'll just show you that one more time slowly. G, G9. There's the bass line on the fifth string. C with the bass on the fifth string. C sharp diminished with the bass on the fifth string. And G over D. That's a G chord with a D note in the bass. And then to D seventh. And then to G. Which sounds like this. So now I'll play it again and you'll know what's going on. And on you go. Uh, so that's this right here. 
huge chord progression. It's not just in Miss Molly, it's in a hundred other songs too. So if you do fit yourself a favor of learning that, you'll use it a lot. Have fun!